Time flies, and here we are again at the beginning of Advent. A lot can happen in a year. This time last year, I was recovering from emergency surgery. In one moment, my whole life changed. I don't really recall much beyond the pain, so much pain. I do remember sing, saying a single prayer over and over again. My prayer was, Lord Jesus, I give you my pain in sacrifice for the soul that needs it most. I give you my pain in sacrifice for the soul that needs it most, over and over again. At one point, I thought, this might be the moment I die. And strangely, I was okay with that. Whatever God wanted was, at least for a moment, what I wanted to. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that time. You know, there's one universal fact. It's true 100% of the time. None of us escapes this life alive. Every one of us will die, and probably before we expect or want it to. The readings today remind me how precious and unpredictable our lives are. The reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans starts with, Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Wow. And the gospel reading ends with, you must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. So how do we live fully, not knowing when that moment will come? Isn't that the secret of Advent? This is a season of reflection, when we prepare our hearts to welcome the baby Jesus. At the same time, this is a season to prepare ourselves for Jesus to come again to usher in God's eternal kingdom. We ponder both events. The first one is predictable. Year after year, we walk through Advent together and celebrate our Lord's birth on Christmas. The second one is completely unknown. Even Jesus didn't know the exact day or hour. And so he tells us to stay awake and alert because we do not know when he will come again. In all honesty, that event seems too big for me to really grasp. And again, in all honesty, it terrifies me a bit. But here is really what I have been thinking about. Jesus comes to us in every moment of every day. He knocks and waits for us to open the door. Every moment of every day, he seeks us out. Here in this church, he waits for us to spend time with him in prayer, and he comes to us in the Eucharist. We don't know that final day, but we only need to pay attention to realize he is already here.